All right, let's do this video of a 5000 series processor. It's gonna be the 5700G. And then we're going to just do a little build. Nothing serious today. Don't know if I wanna go with the stock fan or not. We have a Zeus or Asus, however you want to say it, Rogue Strix B550 ID, which is an ITX motherboard, Windows 11 ready. Show you how tiny this guy is. Look how tiny. <laughs> Purple. There's a reset button on there. Okay, we're going to turn the lights on. to do that. Alright, so then we have our A and B. This one comes with a stock fan supposedly. Cooler, as they call it in the industry. Let's see how cute this one is. I was looking at a um, deep pool uh, water cooler for it. Oh, this is this is adorable. Look at this would be cool. so if we mount that, it mount like right there. That doesn't look too bad. I don't know. I might keep that on there, but it, I might want to go this way with it. Oh, you can't go that way. Oh, that's weird. I'm trying to get the AMD so you can have it upright like this. Oh well, that's okay. Put that guy back in there. Here's our 5700 with uh, 5700G with the integrated graphics. Pop this guy out. Okay. And got the little arrow right there. You always want to match up the arrows. I gotta take my glasses off for this so I can get close. And the little arrow is right down here. Right there. That guy Sounds like our neighbor's dog is running around. And just fit right in there. And you just latch it. And there you go. Now it'll fall out. Alright. We went with uh, Corsair Vengeance. This one, DDR4, 2x8 gigs, so 16 gigs, 3600 megahertz. Put this guy right here. It looks like this. Nothing special, not lighting up because of our case. Don't really have a lot of um, ways to see everything when it comes to RBG or inside. Okay. These guys, how they pop in. They pop in, there's a certain way, a certain groove that will line up with them. So see if they pop on this side. So these guys pop out. They just line up. Get this little groove at the bottom. So I'll give you an example here. A little groove right there. You got a little notch right there where they fit in. And you want always want two dims on A and D since it's a dual core. All right, I'm gonna throw this one in. Some go in pretty easy, some don't. Push down, you hear all snap. Gonna be hard with it, but not too rough. All right, we got that. Then over here, it looks like we have our M2 drive. I forget which one of these has Windows on it. I don't know if it's my Intel one or if it's my Western Digital one. And I forget which one has, this one's one terabyte and this one's 512. So we're gonna go with the one terabyte. Western Digital. We got my Fix-It, iFixit kit, kit 
that I'm not sponsored by anything, so I can say whatever I want. <laughs> not really, I wouldn't say whatever. So we have here. Looks like I pop this M2 drive and put this down. Right in here. I have it on a map, so nothing, no shock or anything. A lot of people talk about um, being grounded, and I think that's 100% the right way, but I, I've never had anything a grounded uh, wrist down or anything, so I don't own anything like that, I guess is what I'm trying to say. We'll flip that on its side. And I forget the actual screws, the sizes these are, so you can always tell me in the comments below how long this is. I wish I knew off the top of my head from all these years of building computers. I don't build them for myself, I don't build them for anybody else. Well, my kids and family members. I pick up a little screw, you can kind of see in there, M2 drive. Right in. And fingers crossed, this is the one with Windows. So this will end up having the one terabyte there, and then on the back side, there's another M2. Make sure that's in there all the way. This guy. I might need a Ryzen cable for my. Video card. I don't know if there's one that comes with this case. Okay, and then on the back side, there's another M2 card right here. So I ended up getting two different Samsons. This is one terabyte Gen 4 5150, and this is a two terabyte. This is gonna go in my gaming PC. So we got this right here for more storage. I don't see a screw on the back side here, so it looks like we'll have to look inside the motherboard case. Here's this one. A digital black edition. So inside the motherboard box, usually down here on the bottom, we have additional accessories. We're gonna reach in here and just grab them all. You don't use them all every single time you build. And this is what I was looking for, these little screws. Got one more right there. Okay. But in here you'll have the screws, you'll have stickers, which I never ever use. Let me know in the comments if you do. Some zip ties for cable management. Oh, this looks like a USB-C to audio adapter. We'll have to figure out what that's used for. Um, looks like some cabling for fans. The controller, maybe for our GB. SATA cable, do we have more than that? Nice. Because I got this IO port card. M2, so we can um, add more on here if we wanted to, or I might put this on my computer, I don't know, I just have it out here because it all came in the same package, so probably won't put it on here today, uh, with SATA, SATA, we got four ports here, the four drives, which would be nice, um, Wi-Fi, antenna, Is it IO? Yeah, IO Shield. I think that's what we call these. Check me in the description below. Comment below the description. Comment below. Let's get into this one. I think this would be a couple bags of these little screws. So let's see which one is which. I think I'm, I want to go with this one. So 
uh, candy box cutter here. Nothing special. Probably need to change that blade out. That could be a good thing being dull for me. Try not to slice through anything really quick. Yeah, there's a little post. Okay, yeah, this is it. So, I believe let's measure this up so we don't have to do more work than we need to. So this guy will go here, so there's a little post in. And that's what these look like, if you can see it. And then what happens is the screw will go into the top of this. And this will keep this level in here so it's not pushed down at an angle. So let me see if I can show you. So you put this in here. It's not pushed down. It'll be standing up a little bit. And I don't know if you can see that there. And let's take this guy out. Put this back over. Put this stand or post. Put it in with our finger because I don't have a tool for that. Mm. Well, you know, I might have my iFix it kit. I never really had to put one of these in. Let's try that. But it's too deep. That's cool though. Right. So let's put this back in. I'll just do it. Sometimes I wish I had tiny fingers. I have average size. See, that was that easy just to put it in there. And then when we screw the screw in, it should tighten up. Okay. So now, I'll put this guy in here. Push down there. I fix it. Screwdriver is nice. So do I wouldn't mind getting a effect kit one. There's the very nice too. The magnet looks really strong versus I fix it, which is nice. It has a nice magnet on it. Okay. So nice. You want it snug. You don't want to over tighten anything. And so then there's the MP drive. So we got all that. We have a fan, and we should have some fan headers. Usually, I don't see. Oh, I see a connector back here. A couple connectors there. Probably up here on top is where. This is usually where they're at. Is up here with the CPU fan. CPU fan pump and fan, all right, not bad labeling. Front panel is up here, uh, sensors, AFP is right there. Over here we got front panel, we got speakers. Okay. TX motherboard and we're oh we're on our way to getting everything set back up. Let me put the piece in. And so under here there's gonna be a peel you want to take off for your paste, for your heat sink. <laughs> I had a fear I was gonna knock out the screws. Guess what I did? Or not. At least they didn't fall on the floor. Sometimes you got these things on the floor. Okay, let's get the screwdriver. Line the big one up. And we'll line up the little one. Okay. 
Okay, they're lined up. Now I'm going to tighten them down. Get them nice and snug. Like I said, you don't want to over tighten them. All right. Shield back here. So on, I've never used a stock fan before. So I'm gonna guess. Definitely need to remove these. And I just touched the thermal case. There is some on the bottom of that fan. Gotta okay, be careful of that. Okay, let's take this out. I don't have any other brackets. Usually your um, coolers, your fans for your CPU come with uh, different brackets. I'm gonna try this one out since I've never tried a stock fan. I just have a nice water cooler because of performance. And uh, Celsius is usually 50 to 60 on my computers, which I like. Right in there. That's nice and convenient. Really easy. You want these to be small, so let's, let's check the back of it and go back. It looks like it is, but it looks like I have a ways to go. So I'll just put these in here. So they're not really, you kind of got to angle them in and push on them. I would think that one finally stuck. You can see the silver base go down. And I always crisscross them. So I'll go here, I'll go here, I'll go here. Here. I don't know what that term's called. I don't tighten them in a, um, like in a square. I go crisscross, like like an X, and I tighten them. Okay, that's nice and snug. The only problem is, is I got it stuck underneath the ramp. Okay. Give it a little bit release here. Yeah, if I'm doing anything wrong, you think, just let me know in the comments below. That one pops all the way out, which. Okay, there, that's nice and tight. Yeah, because we want to get this fan cable. Do some good cable management. There we go. And I'll show you here in a second. Let me just tighten this one down. Okay. 
Good. 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 Okay. So now I have the cable management back here, and it's gonna be nice and um, spaced out, and it's not gonna hit anything. The fan or anything when I put it in the case. Pick up all these. I like to collect all these, keep all these. Even though I'm use them. Okay. Right, so we got that there. We are going to move the motherboard over here. We're going to take some of this stuff, the packaging, move it out of the way. We'll take my other 5.2. I might put that in the PlayStation 5. I don't store a lot of games on my PlayStation 5. But I have to look at my other two. I have a streaming computer and I have a gaming computer. And I have to really look at those guys. This is also going to be for my streaming computer. I got this as USB. Um, any specs on it. So USB 3.2 Gen 1 Type A PCIe card. Four ports, five gigabits per second, USB three uh, card with USB charging. So I got this for my streaming computer because I like to make that as a NAS. So here's this nice little board. So the Linus Tech Tip uses. So I, I ended up purchasing one. He went to an eight one. I couldn't find an eight one, which would have been super cool, but that's okay. I'll move this guy out of the way. We'll move the IO port card out of the way. Something's getting blocked in there. There we go. All right. Okay, we'll move this over. Got some PNY one terabytes or crucial 480 and 100. Um, I don't know which ones I'm going to use yet. Once I get there, I'll we'll figure that out. That portion. Well, let's get in here. Let's see. Three volt, premium IX, ITX case. Awesome. Okay, so container should be the case, instructions, PC, headset, adapter. Accessory box, motherboard, screws, four HDD hard drive screws, four PSU screws, eight SSD screws, zip ties. And this one should, on the box it says, choose your own path, case with power supply. So this is a white with a power supply already in there. And it should be a 780 plus, which is good. Out. Nice and light. Look, it was more of a oh noise because of the angle. Put all this back in here. I went with a white case because I've never had a white case. the front of it. Really nice. I think these are magnet sides, which is super cool. Did you see that? So there's a hole here. And a magnet. But here's the case of this just pops right in. Oh no, that's not a magnet. It has magnets on the side. Here let's put this back. pops in. This is for your headset. That's super cool. There's one on both sides. That's super cool. Okay, let's push those back in. There's a handle up here. So you can carry it. Okay, I didn't want to spin that that quick. Alright, so 
you can pull these off really easy, really nice. Really nice paint on them. Uh, nice thin, does this come out? Yeah, air filter, that just pulls out. I'm not gonna pull it out, but oh, it has a magnet right here. And some lips to hold it. First time looking at this case. Here's this side. And you just pull it off from the top or bottom, depending on where your fingers are, same thing. They look identical, so I guess you can't get those messed up. Okay. So, we lay them up here. Yeah, I might have to get a rising. Riser cable. Let's see what we have here. Can you? Can't really see, can you? I don't have a over top camera because I'm moving. Right, let's pick this guy out. I'm gonna probably do, do a watch a YouTube video and then I'll put this together and then I can show you an after video. But I bet, so I might have to get a Ryzen. Obvious reasons, but this right here unscrewed four screws. And this pops off, or pops open, and then you can work inside. It looks like your motherboard, your GPU, which I hope fits. I don't think. Oh, yeah. So I need a rising cable from here to here. But let's let's look in here real quick. Let me put you back down. If I have to get a rising cable, then that kind of stops the video. Let's see what's all in here. You'd assume they would have one with it. I don't know if the motherboard is big enough to fit. Okay, we got all of our cables. Oh, and I read the box too, so there's two rising cables. I was doing that. Okay, so let's put it in here. Let's screw this here. Power connectors. This looks easy to connect, but if we can go, maybe I don't need a rising cable. Can we... Always do your IO shield. Make sure you put that on. Make sure you put your motherboard in there. I almost did a no no. Okay. And then this one will be in the bottom. if I can get this to stay for you so you can see what I'm doing. Oh yeah, definitely. My little camera holder. Uh, my phone holder, I should say. I'm going to untie all these. It looks like right there. I kind need of a way so we can get down here. I don't know if I want to break the zip tie. Because we want good cable management. Alright, so now... angle. Yeah, I might have to. 
undo those zip ties. Okay, so give me a second. Got my little scissors. Uh -huh. this out of the way. Looks like I need to go in at an angle. Cable. All right. And there we go. Yeah, I don't need a adapter, which is nice. Jackson, just so you know. Go back in there. Nice. Come here and look how cute and tiny this is. Is this the pizza? Yeah. Can you eat for me, son? Yeah, I sure did. You get it. Yeah. Nice and little. Compact. Yeah. It's really cool. Yeah. Nice to carry around and everything. I think these guys will just screw right in there. So then we have four different one, two, three, four. I don't know. I have no idea. Four right there. Pause it and then I'll put this all together and I'll show you the end result. Okay, so I took the motherboard out so I can get these right screws in here for these little pegs to get the motherboard down and secure. So I'm gonna pause it again and then show you where where it looks once I plug everything in. Okay, thanks. Okay, so I'm back again. That kind of looks blue in the light in the camera but it's not. Okay, so these four holes I was telling you about on the post, they're really hard to get in, so I'm glad I paused or stopped. What you had to do was push this as hard as you can up against this here to line it up with these holes right there. So this hole right there. So yeah, so I'm gonna stop here because I have to um, charge my phone. I guess it's dying on me, and so, well, Here's the start to the video, and I'll show you the install the mother or the install the uh, GPU and the hard drives, and that's it. And then we'll power it up and see how it works. Okay, thanks for watching. Have a good day. Bye. Okay, so when I went off line with the video, I did some hard drive cables that are going to go over the graphics card and then through this hole right here to the back side and then graphics cards will be on the opposite side of this I'm sorry not graphics cards hard drives hooked up the front panel which is down here USB-C audio here took this off so kind of rewired it but you're not really looking into the case so these guys don't go really that far so the disadvantage would be these cables which go down here underneath don't really extend far. So you don't have much play, so you're just gonna leave them here. I'm gonna try the AMD fan, but then I'm gonna end up probably getting into deep cool 
I'll go white, just to give it a little bit of accent. I know it'll be right here on the inside. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this off here. Try doing this one-handed. Okay. We'll set that down there. And then we got an MSI 3070. We're gonna take off the bottom, always take off the bottom here. Throw that down there. And we are going to, I don't know where I'm putting the camera, I'm not paying attention. Forgot to undo these guys. Nice thing about a magnet screwdriver. You drop them in the case, you can just go pick them up. I highly recommend them. Put it there. All right, so then we're gonna get this guy. Put him right in there. And so what the computer will look like. And this is mesh on this side, mesh on this, mesh there, mesh up here. Kind of some vents down here. All right, we got that set up. Okay, and we got PCI. Ooh, these don't really extend that far. So let me pause it real quick and then I'll show you what it looks like once I get it worked out. I need both hands. Okay, so this here was a little tight. There's a panel that I had to take off. And the panel is this one. It goes in here like this. And the bummer about it, it hits the cables. So if I go in here, try shoving these cables, it won't go all the way in there. So I can do that. So you have to take this off to extend this because this is a tight fit here. This one fits good. Put it down in there like that, but let's get this all tight. Sorry, the camera. Is not ideal position. Looks like a shield for it, so make sure that's all in there. I'm actually really happy with the size of this case. We got that there, got those here. So then here's the hard drives. I had to loop over here. So not the best cable, cable management. Let's see, let's go like this. Get my phone holder to stand up. And so, now you have all this out here for hard drives, which I'm gonna hook up later. And then on this side we have this here, so I can close this now. We're gonna mount that. And then I'll get a water cooler here down the road, and I already have hard drives in there. So I'll hook up the SSD later. Get this all back together. I just want to see if we can get a boot up to the motherboard. The BIOS, I guess, is what I needed to say. Good for an IPS motherboard form factor. Get these guys, and you can see in there. Not pretty nice and crammed, but looks like it will have good breathing. We'll try the AMD 
fan. And then we'll get a water cooler. I just ordered one. And we'll put these guys back on. Got the little handle that pops up. Spin it around. We'll put... What I'll probably do here, let me put you back. Let's take this and let's take all these here. We're going to tie them together so I don't lose any. And I go to put hard drive, additional hard drives on here. You gotta remember there's already two terabytes on it. There's plenty to get it up and going. And so then what I'll do is I'll hopefully can get this. Just the house right here. Okay, it looks like that will work. Because what we're gonna need is we're gonna need this side. Cool. And we'll look at the bottom. Can you see that? Everything looks looking good down here for now. Got all of our wiring. Looks good. And then back here we have a plug and then all of our cables come out the back. All right, here's the front side. Nice, so let's do this. I don't have a motherboard, but let's get things turned on. I'm sorry, I didn't mean motherboard. I don't have a uh, monitor too handy right now. Plug this in and we'll see. Did we get any lighting? Nothing. Good to know. Put this down. Plugs are in there. All right, I'll have to troubleshoot it. See what's going on. With what's that time I have to go to work? Let's set in there. I don't have any other cables down here I'm missing. Everything looks good down there. USB C is there. Alright. Let's check all the plugs on the power supply. Power supply, does it? I think all my cables are in there good. I'll have to double check that. I'll have to take the power supply out and just check all the cables back here if I didn't miss anything. And then I don't see why I would have a switch on this power supply. Oh, all the panels come off. Oh, uh -huh, look at there we go that was it I don't know if you saw that so I took this panel off and it was this switch right here 
you gotta make sure you turn that on with that to get it powered. We got a light, a fan, we'll check out BIOS, got some indicators with the lights. Nice, okay, well that's good. And we got a hard drive storage right there too. Oh, I can put hard drives in there as well as back here. So I'll do some SDs back here with some ROMs and then we will do a hot swap here because it pops off. I like that. Cool. Well, there's my little form factor. We're going to turn it off. There we go. We're going to power this guy off. I don't need that one off. Put this back. Then when I get home from work, I'll play around with it. Connect it up and get it up and going. Hopefully I put the right drive in with Windows. Kind of see how that goes. All right, awesome. That was a easy build. Except for my phone dying. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for hanging out with me. Uh, new building a computer. Uh, I built a few of them, but I'm still calling myself a noob compared to all you cool people on the internet. All right, I love that. That was a beautiful case too. All right, we'll talk soon. Have a good day. Bye.